this place more. Just enjoying our halos mm -hmm. before we head up. We just got shuttled to uh, Peter's Mountain Trailhead as we're doing a Sobo Slack back today, back to Angel's Rest. Uh, yeah. So, gotta stretch a little before starting. Katie, do you think we'll see any of this? Service berry or Turk's cap? Who knows? I hope we see this, this Turk's cap. It looks really pretty, look at that. Yeah, it looks it's like really a lily. interesting. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready to step out of time. A <laughs> hundred million acres wild. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's the whoa. question. Yep. That's the question. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> so we're on the climb up now and my body is very thankful to not have the extra weight today. <laughs> what about you, Andrew? I agree. <laughs> yeah. We've been feeling like super tired. Um, so this is a nice break. Oh man, I always get excited when I see one of these. There's another iris. And here's one coming up too, right there. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. Love these things. And uh, last night I was looking at, I was trying to like look up all these plants. So I'll try and point out some of the ones that I find that uh, that I was able to maybe identify through Google searching. We'll see. We'll see how many we can find today. Oh man, here's another one, but it's just so tiny. I gotta, I gotta stop stopping every time I see one. <laughs> <laughs> man, this is pretty cool. We intersect the Allegheny Trail, which will take you from here all the way to Ooh. West Virginia. Yeah. I mean, Pennsylvania. Not West Virginia. It goes through West Virginia, though. That's cool. Down south from the Mason-Dixon line, to the Appalachian Trail in Monroe County, West Virginia. That is really cool. We just got a tip from a northbound hiker. Um, you know, since we're like slack packing Sobo, ran into her, and she goes, "I saw a bear about a mile back off the trail on a rocky ridge." So. Maybe we'll see it if it's hanging around. But yeah, that'll so that that'll come up maybe in about 30 minutes. You know, maybe less. So we'll see. Keep our eyes peeled. I saw this one yesterday. I think this is uh Wild geranium. I don't think we got to see this one. I think it's going that way. But there were uh, some sort of military aircraft jet flying over. Yeah, it's out last time. Yeah, that's the sound you can it hear was there. It so loud. Yeah, it was when super it was loud. Like right at, above us, it was really, really loud. Yeah, and we saw it fly right overhead. This one's Crazy. not as loud. This is such a wonderful ridge walk with all these yellow flowers over here. It's very nice. And we're on the border of Virginia, West Virginia, basically. Look over here, it's West Virginia. And into here, it's Virginia. It's really cool. One of these little rocky outcrops and things. Makes her some some nice viewing as we traverse the ridge. You can see all the farmland down there. And then these plants I found out yesterday are called May apples. Or I guess they're poisonous friends. Yes. <laughs> the umbrella plants. The umbrella plants, aka May apples. May apples. <laughs> or I think they also like. Uh, they also said on the internet that they're they're called mandrakes or something. 
some kind yeah, of mandrake. There's like a bunch of names for it. Bunch this. of names for it. Yeah. Something like that. But yeah, poisonous. <laughs> Fun. Yay. I don't think I've seen this one before, but I think I think this is some kind of trillium. Not sure. I wonder if this is also a I wonder if this is a crocus plant. Not sure. I'll look that one up later too. I and mean, this is I think part of the same part of the same one. Here. Oh man, look at these blooms. Look at this tree. Ooh, and a bird. That why does that look like an osprey? That's wild. I feel like that's probably not an osprey. Because we're not near water. But does that not? But yeah, this tree. Look at these beautiful flowers. Man, like the buds are the buds are nice and nice and pink, and then the flowers are wait, a little bit of pink. That is just wonderful. Wow. And <laughs> I don't know if you just heard that bee zoom past my face. They are busy pollinating, I'm sure. It's got like the, um, you know, like the anthers are like sticking out real long, kind of like the, the honeysuckle bush I saw a few days ago. But this is a different tree than these other, these other blooming trees here. Look how pretty this is. And there's also a spider right there, a tiny spider on these tiny, tiny flowers. <laughs> Looks like we're going into some sort of field. There's Andrew up there, walking ahead. Oh man, looked behind us and the view is so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Actually, this part is just so beautiful with the field. flowers on them, starting to bloom. This is awesome. Do you agree? I do agree. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm gonna take a clip of this bee working real hard. Here we go. Look at him go. <laughs> Stopping and smelling the not roses. Smells good. I it wish is, I could like put it through the video. Like these flowers are very very fragrant. Yeah. You just That's walk through this uh like tunnel over here, huh? mm -hmm. and you can smell it. Yesterday when we were walking down to Parisburg, um, it's it did smell great. There were a ton of yeah. wild, wildflowers. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I mean, you can walk up and smell these. These are very fragrant, very nice. Yeah. It's been uh, really nice to be able to smell again. <laughs> it's like it's being able to sleep inside like a building for the past two nights has been really good for my allergies because yeah it's been it's been a little hard for me like little pains in my body plus the allergies coming you know because everything's blooming and it's so beautiful but like I can't breathe which, <laughs> which kind of sucks and then I have to take allergy meds so I could help that could help me to breathe and then those can make me feel a little tired I think but I'm also tired because of hiking and whatnot. So being in the hostels for two, three nights in a rose really helped. I feel like my body, <laughs> you know, 
regenerate itself a little bit. Um, but yeah, I can smell the flowers, which is great. These ones look slightly different, these flowers. I don't know if they're the same, but the, the leaves are a little bit orange. Sorry, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <Taking photos of it>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Is this the same as the one that had the pink buds? Can... Might be different. I feel like they look different, but... I see, I I see the buds up there. They're, diff they're different. They're different. Yeah. Yeah, that's different. We just found an egg on trail, but look, that doesn't that doesn't look like um like that's a pretty sizable egg. Like it is probably it is probably a chicken egg, but like it looks kind of speckled. Like it doesn't look like it's like you know one of those bleached, you know. I'm like, did someone drop an egg? Like, like I'm who's who, like who's carrying a raw egg? You know? That's like, true. A like, raw egg. Like you people think... usually hard boil it and then. Bring it with that. Exactly. Like, is this like what kind What's of going egg? On? <laughs> what kind of egg would this be? Where it's white and like it's a little bit more pointed than and uh, I don't know. That's a just egg. That is kind of strange. Random egg on trail. <laughs> I like these little yellow ones, but they're they look very sort of melted and they're pointing down. Tiny white ones that I think might be a crocus, but I don't know. It's lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Brought these. <laughs> I'm at sandwich. Let's see if I'll get through both. I've got some prosciutto. Mm hmm. Got some Fancy. of that uh, Italian <laughs> food here. Mm hmm. What do you have today? Mm. Peanut butter wrap with some honey, and it made an absolute mess. But, but it's calorie all, dense. It's like all liquid. <laughs> all honey juices are in my bag, and then the pitas, or not pita, the um, tortilla. The tortilla is pretty soggy. Not gonna lie. Mm. It's better to just make it fresh. But I didn't want to carry the whole jar of peanut butter. Yeah. So. Well, I'm sorry, babe. It's all right. Perrysburg, right here, past the power line. <laughs> Don't mind the power line. Right. But there's a town. Ah, uh, nature. Rice field shelter over there. <laughs> Literally in the hill. I guess hence the name. Oh yeah, Andrew uh, is packing out this garbage bag that he found well, on trail. So I left trash conveniently in the garbage bag, so it makes it easy to pack out. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a good one. So the first person who saw a black bear who told us about it earlier in the day. We never saw that bear. And just now there was, a, there was a guy who goes, I just saw a black bear by the power lines. I guess we're crossing the power lines again about a mile back. So again, my eyes will be peeled and I will see if there's a bear. <laughs> it's just like a million of them there. So pretty. I saw something moving and there it is, a froggy. It's so actually, I think it's a toad, but hey, look at him. Oh, he's adorable. There's a 
flower we saw yesterday. I think it's called Phlox. P-H-L-O-X. So I guess we have this little roadwalk under the underpass <laughs> to end our hike. We're less than a mile away from our the end of our hike for today. So <laughs> I guess <laughs> we'll see what's in store. Even though there's this fence here, it's slightly terrifying that these trucks are just passing by real fast. Oh! <laughs> there it is, where we ended yesterday via a Route 100. Woo! Yay! We, we did, did it. it! I'm ready for food and water slash soda. Yeah, I'll shuttle straight to the DQ. Yes. I am so thirsty. Man, that's like at the beginning, in the morning I was super cold. And now I'm parched. Also, in this puddle in the parking lot, there are these tadpoles. Oh man. How long they survive. Or before they evolve. Because <laughs> it's literally just in a puddle. Andrew's assessing. Because we first saw this yesterday. Yep. So, look at them today. Treating ourselves DQ here. What's up, Katie? Drinking that Gatorade? Oh, yeah. Just Googling plants and trees and stuff. Hmm? I've been Googling, you know, plants and trees and stuff. And uh, the two, well, we saw probably three different kinds of flowering trees this is a flattering angle mm -hmm. and the one that's the one that's um the pink buds with the white flowers mm -hmm. pretty sure that's like some kind of apple blossom and then the flowers that have the really like the long anthers on them mm -hmm. pretty sure that's an american plum hmm. according to google and then there were these white flowers that I kept kept saying like might be like crocus plants. What are those? But they're definitely not. Where are they? I think they're I think there's something called blood root. Mm -hmm. Blood root. Yeah. What a name. So well, let me so let me know if uh if I did okay on my identification here. Any botanists in the crowd? Yes, please fact check. Fact check me slash roast me. In the comments. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're gonna sign off here. We're winding down. Yeah, I already took a nap and now I'm just getting my food together and I'm gonna go back yeah. to sleep. <laughs> I ate too much and now I am very round and I'm just laying down. Yay. Yeah. Alright, till tomorrow. Peace.